New at 10, heard of the cottage food trend? People earning cash by making honey or baking cookies all from the comfort of their own homes? Sounds like a good idea, but it might not be legal where you live. 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen looks at the laws trying to keep up. Okay. In Elizabeth Black's Boulder backyard. These guys have been pretty busy. The bees aren't the only ones busy. It's North Boulder honey. A lot of people like it because it helps with their allergies. For 25 years, she's been jarring her famous honey. Sweeter and has more flavor than most of the honey you get in the store. Part of Colorado's buzzing cottage food industry. Since the governor signed the Cottage Food Act in 2012, people are allowed to produce and sell certain homemade foods that are considered low risk for safety issues, from honey to jams and teas to baked goods. It's a win-win for all. Representative Eulen Willett says cottage foods appeal to both farm-to-fork liberals and fiscal conservatives. As a Republican, I like the idea of less governmental involvement and freeing people up to, to make some money. So right now, two bipartisan bills to expand the cottage food industry are quickly moving forward. His bill adds tortillas, flour, empanadas, and pickles to the approved products. Meanwhile, cities such as Denver, Arvada, and Wheat Ridge are passing ordinances allowing people to sell cottage foods from their homes. Back in Boulder, the buzz is the city will pass an ordinance next week so Elizabeth can legally put out her home honey box, complete with food safety certificate, spare change, and sweet honey from those busy backyard bees. It really gets people more in touch with agriculture and where their food comes from. In Boulder, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.